Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on 1320 challenge. Today's video is a video basically me sharing my ratios and how I drive the Nitto 1320 funny car. So I wanted to show my ratios, I wanted to show how I drive it, uh, and show you how fast it is because right now I should be number one on the leaderboard by a wide margin. Uh, my fastest time lately so far, and I've only been using this car for about half an hour, 4.865. Fastest on leaderboard, at least at this moment, I believe is me with a different race because somebody definitely raced one of my races. Uh, let's see. What is fastest right now? Last time I checked, it was 4.899. Okay, so fastest in the pat still is 4.899, but this was unfortunately against the computer. But there are some 4.898 and a 4.88 that I have out there that I'm just waiting for the other person to accept the race. Um, I got into finally racing premiums because a certain somebody on the Discord that I will not name keeps accusing me of cheating. And I can be good at a game that's 20-some years old. And this is my proof to it. Yes, my game looks different from yours. That doesn't mean I cheat. I don't have tires. I have the exact same thing you do, just magic gearbox. I don't have, you know, I have some engine damage, just like anybody else would. I'm running 1% oil life, just like everybody else. I'm not running gauges, even, which in the original game was not possible except with a glitch. Um, obviously, you can't paint this thing, but yes, my game looks different because this is why I'm here. This is why I'm a part of this project, is to figure out ways to better the game and figure out how to hack and mod up the game client to make it better for everybody. So, now that I got that out of the way, because it seems like there's only one person that still has a problem with me over it, let's get into how I race the Nitto 1320 Funny Car. This thing is awesome. I love this thing. This all started when I was messing with the TFD I wanted to make it really fast. I had some great ratios I made myself based off of ratios from the real ratios of the Fiat 500 of Barth that I found with Google. And it just, the car kind of sucked. No matter what I did, the car sucked. So I was digging around, digging around, and digging around. And let me open it real quick. I found this PDF file from a website called Scribed where I could, where they basically backed up an entire huge post from the original Nitto 1320 Legends webpage. And in here were gear ratios for a 6.8 second RX-7 dragster. Uh, RX-7. Where is it? RX-7. Yeah, here we go. Uh, right here. So I was messing with these on the premiums because I was like, oh, it's going to be funny. Use premium ratios on a premium car from the wrong game. Let's see how they work. So I put them on my TFD. It was okay. I was definitely running faster, but I still wasn't running like leaderboard times in this thing. So I'm going to come back to it one of these days and we'll figure out different ratios. But I was talking to Nados um, on Discord. And he was like, hey, these ratios work really well on the funny car. And then he gave me the final drive he was using, because that's all he modified. And he was like, yeah, it's running really well on the funny car. And I continued to modify it even further. These are the ratios from the RX-7 Dragster in Nitto 1320 Legends with a modified final drive for this car. And so far, as you can see, 4.895, 2.5, 1.6, 1.13, 0.85, 0 0.645. Exactly the same. 4.895, 2.5, 1.6, 1.13, 0 0.85, 0 0.645. The only difference is the final drive. And man, this thing is a rocket ship. It is awesome. I love racing this car now. It's definitely fast. <laughs> definitely a fast car. You run clutch down on these. It's very difficult to stage premiums. This is a very, very fast shifting car. You also need to be very careful with your mouse. 
movement and how fast you slide up on the gas. Because if you slide up on the gas too quickly with this car, you will spin tires no matter what, because tire grip just isn't quite what it should be in the game yet. But, as you can see, oh my god. 4.884, first try. That's number one leaderboard as of this moment. Just like first race, you know, without even really trying. You can see how fast those ratios are. Those ratios are insane. A lot of people that I know that are running premiums are not running speedy boy ratios like this. And that's because it, they're so difficult. But for some odd reason, these just work for me really well. And so far, I think this is also the only car that I race that kind of ends in the proper mile per hour. Look at that. Oh my god, I'm quad timing. What in the hell? This thing is a beast. I love racing this car. You want to you wanna over rev first. It's common. And then basically just red line shift every other gear. Honestly, these gears are so fast, you're kind of over revving second too. But I don't think you really want to. Even then, 4.91 is still pretty competitive in a car like this. But I just really wanted to share the ratios for this because it's so much fun to race this old car. And I really wish I would have gotten into the premium sooner. I kind of was like, oh, they're too fast. They don't fit in, but they are fun to race. It doesn't matter if they are if they don't quite fit in. Like, yeah, it's kind of a street track, but at the same time, it's really not. Because, like, you got people here, you got people here. Yes, it's buildings in the background. Yes, every other car in the game is a normal, like, standard civilian car and then you have these weird dragsters but like realistically there are like borderline eight second cars street racing now or borderline six second street racing cars now that just do eighth mile on the real road so like in the nowadays these fit in almost you're not quite running one of these on the street but almost <laughs> but yeah i wanted to share the ratios i wanted to share how this car works I hadn't made a video in a while and i just want to get back into it because recently we hit a million total channel views uh video channel views and i want to thank everybody for that um i'll make a video dedicated to that one of these days and we'll maybe we'll go back and i'll like cringe illy react to some of my old videos it'll be a bunch of fun I'll show you guys some stuff that's privated and things like that. Maybe do it as a live stream, depending on the weather, uh, one of these days. But it'll be something I try to schedule. So I'm going to kind of pay attention and try to base it around my schedule. Uh, my work schedule and my girlfriend's work schedule. So I can make sure I do it on a day she's potentially not home. Just so I don't get bothered by the kids and things like that. But... We'll do some form of a live stream to celebrate the 1 million channel views. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy the ratios for the uh, funny car. Let me know how you modify them. And let me know what car you want to see me master next. Peace out, guys.